Hello everyone. I'm going to show how to make a mod using the mods folder, since I didn't show that before and I really should have. To start, I have two um, Victoria 2 folders open. One's showing the vanilla directory, the other one's inside the mod folder. And we're going to show, I'm just going to show you how to make a very simple mod to run, rather than modifying the vanilla game, because you don't want to. To start off, we're going to make a .mod file, which allows you to select the mod you're in the launcher. To do this, I'm going to start off by doing new. In my case, I'm going to do a text document. I use Notepad++. You can use anything, I do believe. And we'll call this Test2. Ah, Test2.mod. Yes. And you'll see now that it appears to be a movie file of some sort, but it's not. Now we can edit this with Notepad, and you'll have this blank document. Now that's actually very simple, what we want to put in here, and I've already made another test thing to show, so we'll open, I'm going to open this. And this is all you're going to need, actually, these two lines. Name equals... Yeah, well, let's put this back in here. Alright. So, name is the first line you need in the mod file. It's very simple, name equals test. This is the name of the mod, what you'll see when you launch the game, or on the launcher. So, I guess for this example, we'll call this mod test2. Path is the more important one. This is what you're going to call your mod. Er, sorry. Path is where you're going to what where the folder is. So the name first you need mod slash and then test will be the name of the folder you're working in. I do not have a name or folder yet, so we will create a folder now. New folder. And uh, we'll keep it we'll, we'll name it test two, even though I don't have a test folder. So test two. We're gonna want to name this test two the exact same name as the folder I've just created. And then you save. And that's it. To make sure that that worked, launch Victoria 2 and see if your mod shows up here. As you can see here, test 2 has shown up, so we know it works. And obviously turn it on, you just check it and then launch. But we don't have anything inside yet, so let's continue. So now we're already almost done. It's as simple now as um, testing it make sure it works. So let's go inside the test2 folder, and as you can see, it is completely empty. We have a completely clean canvas to work off of. Now how this works is you're going to want to create folders exactly as they are in the vanilla folder. So here we have a regular, regular Victoria2 folder outside of the mod folder, which is here. So as I showed my uh, how to make a country tutorial, you know, you need Common. Where is it? Hold on. All right. You would need common history GFX. Nah, localization. I believe that's it. But don't copy. I don't recommend copy and pasting this from the vanilla folder because that is pointless and will just um, put redundant amounts of uh, space. Use up a lot of memory. You don't need that. What we're going to do instead is we're actually just going to create an empty folder. And uh, as a simple test, we're just going to do localization. Localization. Now, inside localization, we're going to perhaps... Well, let's look inside the vanilla localization folder. These use CSV files. Now, I don't know if you can create a CSV file simply for to simply by renaming it, so we're just going to copy and paste any one of these. Put it in the mod. Uh, oh, definitely name it something different if you're working on a completely different file. I recommend just doing a cut your own custom CSV file so nothing gets overrated. So, I don't know, let's just name this test. Edit. And... I think what we'll do is we'll delete everything that's in here. Save it. Now it's empty. Alright, so I've gone under the um, 
text CSV file in the vanilla thing, it found all the country names. And I just copy and pasted USA, America, the uh, name of the United States. So what we'll... actually, scratch that, let's do something here. How about... Hmm. Hold on, I'm looking for another country. There's a reason I would explain. I'm not going to do USA. No, let's do France. Okay. So let's take France and test this. We're going to copy this into our new CSV file. And let's just, just to test if the mod works, let's rename France to something like, uh... How about French land? And then save. Okay. So now our mod, so far, has localization. It has a CSV file that is declaring France to be called French land instead. So, now, that's done. I've saved. Now let's see how long last the mod works. We enable the mod and start Victoria 2. Okay, so through a very simple process, we have now changed France into French land, and it was that simple. You can do this for anything generally. The general rule of thumb is that everything in the mod folder becomes before the vanilla thing. So anything you do in the mod folder is counted instead of the vanilla version. So despite that in the vanilla folder, it's called France. The mod folder, we named it French Land, and the game registers the mod first. So that's why French Land's here instead of France. So that's how you do it. You can do that for flags, countries, anything. Everything in the mod folder will come first. That is how you put together a mod. Please check out my other tutorial on creating custom countries if you so desire. And of course, if you have any other questions pertaining to any Paradox game, I have played Crusader Kings 2, Hearts of Iron 3, Darkest Hour, anything. I probably have the answer pertaining to mods. So, thanks again. If you have other questions, I would definitely go check out the Paradox well, uh, I don't know if it's called the Paradox Wiki. There's many Wikipedias for each of these games. I know there's a very good Victoria 2 Wiki that teaches you about modding. Check it out if you have questions. Thanks again, and see you.